over 1,000 flood victims of the Isuboni rails in the Kweu West municipality are now living with neighbors, whilst others have also been sleeping in kiosks for the past two weeks. Now, guess what? The affected residents are appealing for support for shelter and soft loans to secure their basic needs. Here's a report by Yvonne Nikoi. Statistics from NADMO indicate 72 houses were completely razed after 12 hours of rains at Estuboni Rails in Kweu West Municipality of the Eastern Region. It's been two weeks since the devastation. Residents have lost their homes, businesses and property. The over 1,000 affected victims have been living with close relatives in other communities for the past two weeks. Some have lost their farms to fungal infections. The Chidomhini of Estuboni Rails, Nanabote Akwafum, is overwhelmed by the impact of the devastation on his people and asks for urgent assistance for shelter. This number of people are still running head scattered, not knowing where to stay. Initially, we told them to live in, uh, go and live in a school building. But as the situation goes on, they can't live there. So, and there's no facility whereby they can live. Women in the community are the worst affected. Some have had their goods estimated into thousands of cities washed away. Others are yet to get clothing for their school children to return to school. I took a loan to do my business. The rain has damaged all my goods. I appeal on government's intervention to repay the loan. I have three children living with me in this building. The building suddenly collapsed immediately. I rush out with my children. This is very scary. So I plead on the government to come to our aid. The Kuala West Municipal Chief Executive and NADMO officials have distributed basic items to affected residents. The Kuala West Municipal Chief Executive, Yao Osu Ado, said the basic items was government's efforts to help give them some relief. In terms of uh, corrugated iron sheets and uh, some bags of cement that they will give to the most hit families. Because some don't have anywhere at all. All the buildings were broken or collapsed. Some have half of their buildings collapsed. So uh, after the assessment, then they will know what kind of relief to give to them. 